fun, easy to play, accessible to just about anyone, and you're able to get good at it. That mantra is used when talking about retro sports video games just as much as it's used today when seeking out a fun online or couch co-op bit of football. The general public consensus is a game called Sensible Soccer, released in the early 1990s for computers of the era, hit that mark big time and remains a cult favorite today. But before there was Sensible Soccer, there was Microprose Soccer, and it too set a standard emulated for years to come. The game's developers John Hare and Chris Yates took a top-down soccer format they'd seen in the Japanese arcade video game Tekken World Cup, now known as Tecmo World Cup, and improved the overall gameplay for the home experience. What they ended up with was one of the best playing, most exciting, and robust sports games of the era. Microprose Soccer, also released as Microprose Pro Soccer and Keith Van Aaron's Pro Soccer, was very successful commercially and was on most computers of the era, including the Atari ST. Heron Yates took what they learned in making Microprose Soccer, fixed it further, and then released the aforementioned Sensible Soccer to worldwide acclaim. For me, I never played either game back in the day, and my favorite early soccer game is International Soccer for the TI-99. So approaching the game fresh in 2022 can be a bit difficult. I found the controls to be a great reminder of what it used to be like using a joystick on an old PC. In case you needed a refresher, you have to calibrate the stick before every game, and movement generally feels floppy and careening just like it felt when using one of those old sticks. It's actually pretty cool to see the early PC experience when booting up the game, and critically it allows you to select between two modes, each with two gameplay options. CGA and EGA, or Computer Graphics Adapter and Enhanced Graphics Adapter, each with a six-play indoor field or an 11 player outdoor field. CGA was a lower resolution adapter than EGA, but both look good and it ultimately comes down to personal preference as neither option impacts gameplay. The game allegedly supports the Hercules graphics card, but selecting that option hangs the program, and selecting Tandy computers spits back what surely has to be an incorrect display, even by Tandy standards. However, the upside to these keyboard options has a downside, which is that you must have either a keyboard connected to your VCS or use the VCS companion app on your phone or tablet in order to play the game. Not that you need a keyboard to play, just to get through the opening menus. It definitely slows the initial load process down and can be annoying. You can play with a keyboard if you wish by selecting zero joysticks in the menu. The controls are pretty standard for this kind of game, with one button used for passing and kicking. I never got the hang of selecting the right player, but the game largely does that automatically. If you push diagonally while kicking, you'll use your banana power, which aims to curve the ball around your opponent. I never got the hang of kicking very well either. I found goalkeeping to be particularly difficult also, with the opponent often getting to my goal before I had much chance to react. To goalkeep, press the fire to jump up, button plus left or right to dive in that direction. I found the computer AI to be brutally difficult, but that's common for this era of sports game. If you have fond memories of Microprose Soccer, then this release offers a solid look back with quality display options and an authentic emulated experience. If you don't have memories of the game, you'd want to play it to get a sense of history. However, there are many more easy pick-up-and-play soccer games that are simply more fun in 2022, including Pixel Cup Soccer for the Atari VCS for $9.99. These DOS box games are $6.99 each, which, while not that expensive, does tend to add up if you're buying them all or just thinking of checking out an unfamiliar game. However, if you specifically want this era of PC soccer game, about the only game better than Microprose is its successor, Sensi, which is not yet available on the VCS. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks, so stick around. Liking the video helps others know it's worth checking out, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun.